Hi, I'm Spicy Steve. And I'm Tasty Trish. And we're down here at Vancouver's Merritt Kitchens, where the folks have provided us with this wonderful showroom to use uh, for some of our cooking. And today we're doing Thai salads, right? Yes. Today is Yam Moon Sen, which is? Glass noodle salad. This is an easy salad that you can throw together at home. The recipe's on the website, and one that only takes a few moments to put together with a little bit of prep in advance. So what we started off here, Trish, is with? ground pork uh, which we're using today we could use uh, prawns or chicken chicken as well yeah, yeah that would be a good one and what we have added on is uh, Thai chicken soup stock so tell everyone what that is because you make it from scratch yeah I make time. a big bunch and then I freeze it I put it in the freezer and I, I take it out when I need it and it's basically uh, chicken stock uh, pork bones uh, onions celery coffee lime leaves lemongrass whatever is left left out I think that's about it and I just boil it to death and, and then you have a stock. And, and the nice thing is you can make that in advance and put it in little ice cube trays and freeze it in little batches so that you can take them out as you need them for different Asian dishes. It's really the same as regular soup stock except it's got those Thai ingredients, which yes. is the lemongrass coffee and lime the kaffir lime leaves. So it's got a little bit of a citrus aroma to it. It's really a, a, quite a lovely soup stock and you could use it for a lot of your other cooking as well. Okay, so the pork is well cooked. We started this before you came on the scene. <laughs> And so we've got nice, well-cooked pork. We've got the salt stock in there. Now Lem we put some... Lemon juice. Lemon juice. Lemon or lime would work, right? And some fish sauce. Fish sauce, that ubiquitous, stinky, smelly liquid that if you don't want someone not to come back to your place again, spill some on them because it's, it's foul. It's fermented anchovies or dead fish in salt. But when it's mixed with other ingredients, such as the lime juice or sugar or curry paste, it brings out wonderful flavors. It's an integral part of Thai cooking, and it's really the soy sauce of Thailand in many respects, too. And to give it the bite, we have Nam Prik Pao. Nam Prik Pao, and that is a roasted chili paste. So you can see this one is very dark, very black, but as I start to break it down in the liquid, you can see the red chilies coming out of here. And I love this one, actually, as almost like a sambal, like a little side chutney. I'll, I'll actually put this on my fried rice, put it on the side and add it. But this is also a great ingredient to put right into the dish. But you've got to mix it well. You notice what's happening is it's still clumping. So the liquid in here will start to boil, and that will help break down the Namprik Pao. Otherwise, you're going to get little taste sensations, right? Mm -hmm. As you bite into your salad and you come across a bit of Namprik Pao, <laughs> and you may be running for a big glass of water. So as we stir this and bring it to a boil, break down that Namprik Pao, mash it in well, give it a good mix like I'm doing here, okay, and uh, also always check the back of your ladle because sometimes the curry paste and the uh, other paste can stick and you yes. think you're mixing everything in and you see there's this big chunk here. So if you notice now, if our cameraman Jason comes in here for a little quick close up, we've now broken down that Nam Prit Pao, so we've got a nice roasted chili paste sauce in here and we're all ready now for our next ingredients. We have uh, what we call mung bean noodles, and they're made from mung beans, and for people who have allergy to wheat, this is a good alternative. What I've done here is I've uh, soaked it in hot water for about 15 to 20 minutes, and this is what we get. Looks like glass noodles. Like glass noodles. Now, these have been soaked in hot water, yes. whereas most other rice noodles you soak in, uh, in tepid, uh, sort of um, cold water to um, lukewarm. A lot of people use hot water for the rice noodles and they go to paste, they go mushy. But these ones you do need hot water for because they, they just need that to get the consistency. But not too long, right? How long do you do? About 15, 20 minutes, you know. And that's just t hot water out the tap. Yes. Okay, so we're ready to add these. And you see they have a different texture. If you can't get mung uh, bean noodles, you can always use uh, a rice vermicelli noodle to get the same sort of effect. And, and pretty similar texture, but the mung beans are, are quite nice, and they are a little different than the vermicelli when you actually taste them. Okay, and it's more that they have a little bit maybe of a gelatinous texture to them. Yes, and it's, it's, it's very uh, chewy. It's chewy. Nice. Yeah, there we go. So we've added that, and next, the most important thing in a lot of Thai salads is they use a lot of fresh herbs. So I'm going to add these two first. Yeah, well, okay. I cut up some herbs. A little bit of um, shallots, which are commonly used in uh, Thailand and Southeast Asia. But there's also onions as well as shallots in here. Why is there both, Trish? Oh, just because they have uh, different tastes in them and... A um, bit more sweetness in one, a right. little yeah. more bite in the other, okay? Because I find shallots uh, used in European cooking can also be quite uh, mellow tasting, especially when they're fried up. We've also got nicely diced fresh carrot. You can see how fine this is. We're going to mix that in as well. 
So this, this dish has some lovely textures, if you notice. You've got the noodles, you've got the meat, and then you've got this crispiness of these little batons of carrot. And by the way, the finer you chop them, I know it's more work. Everyone's always amazed at how finely my wife chops these, because I don't do this part. Uh, it's just it's much better when they're finely hand chopped. You can't get it on any kind of mandolin or processor, the, the same as this. And it does make a difference in the texture. You don't have to do it like this, but if you can, there will be this finer texture uh, and uh, subtlety in, in the dish between the noodles and the almost string-like uh, carrots that you put in. Now, herbs are very important all Thai cooking, but particularly in the salads, they use a lot of fresh herbs. So what we have that we're adding now Yeah, is last but not least, we have uh, mint and coriander and lots of them. So I that's, love that's them. Asian mint that we bought down at the Asian markets, but you could substitute uh, a spearmint or, or another mint. I just find that the Asian mints also have a finer texture. They're not as sort of hairy or fibrous as some of the European ones. But the ones that they use in Thai cooking are a little bit similar to spearmint. There's a similar taste and a bit of anise flavor sometimes to them as well. So there we have it. This is a really simple dish. And you can now chill this to serve when your guests come later in the day. Or you can actually serve it right away and eat it at room temperature. It's your choice. Whichever way you do it, it's really tasty. And here we go. Just spoon this out. And you can see it's got a very different texture. If you made it with rice noodles, it wouldn't be quite the same. And there you have it, Yam Woon Sen, which is a Thai glass noodle salad with fresh herbs and ground pork. For Shaw TV, I'm Spicy Steve down at Merritt Kitchens. And I'm Tasty Trish. Shall we eat? Why not? Okay, let's go. For recipes and information on cooking classes, visit SpicySteve.com. <laughs>